Hi guys, welcome to my channel Code Melon. In this video, I'll be covering Node.js, MySQL, CRUD operations and REST APIs. In order to start the project, you must have Node.js, MySQL, VS Code installed in your system. In case you don't have, I'll mention the link in description down below. So in order to start with the project, I'll first um, I'll first create a folder in whichever dir directory you want here. I'm gonna create in F directory. So let's name it as tutorial. Just open it and open the CMD. Code dot. This will automatically open the VS code. Now, in order to start with the project, first we need to have different dependencies, right? So npm in it is the command to start with the node project here it will ask some descriptions and details you just go on clicking it and yes okay here we got package.json since this is a node.js and mysql project we definitely require to de definitely require mysql so we install the dependency mysql here you're gonna see we have got node modules packaged log.json and package.json and here we can see mysql installed correct now we're gonna install express okay so yeah it is installed here you can see okay so we start with the project by making a new file let's name it as index.js okay const express equals to require express we're gonna make a instance of x express correct now we require mysql package so here we're gonna require mysql now we go for the db connection so let me show you here i have used mysql workbench and I already created a database named as tutorial you can create any database which you want so where con equals to mysql dot create mysql dot create connection okay so here you're gonna give host name so in my case it is localhost user which is root password which is also root database tutorial you can also give the port number 3306 correct so now app dot listen we'll create a simple function which gonna console server started at port we're gonna give the port number here just 8080 in my case you can give any port you want okay let's save it and try to run it node index.js you can see the server is started at port 8080. Let's also see that if the connection is successful, we define a function here. Okay, uh, console.log connection established. if error console.log 
error connecting to TV. Let's save it and run it. Connection established. So here we can see that we have connected to MySQL database and now we can start with the REST APIs. So I'll start with the REST APIs in the next video. I hope you like the video. Please like, subscribe, share and comment if you have any suggestions. Thank you.